Detroit's own jewel of an island is going to host the Belle Isle Art Fair today. Yeah, and I, it's a I, I, Be Belle Isle Art, 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 Art Fair happening today. And it's a great day for it. For a look at some of the art that you can get your hands on, we have artist Fletcher Dean right here in studio. Fletcher, first of all, I want to talk about your art, but let's talk about the event because this is a Absolutely. great event. 100 artists, you said, taking over the fountain section of Belle Isle. That's right, 100 artists. You know, I, I set up last night, I got a chance to walk the art fair. There are some fantastic artists there. Just every medium you can think of. There's jewelers, there's uh, oil painters, there's encaustic artists like myself, woodworkers, people working glass. It's going to be a good show. Gotcha. Okay, so what is your specialty, Fletch? Well, I work in something called encaustic. And most people have never heard of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> most people who come in my booth have never heard of encaustic, which is ironic because it's a, a really old art form. Mm. It was invented by the Greeks. Uh, and the story goes they used melted beeswax to waterproof some of their ships. Then people started adding pigment to it, and an art form was born. Really? So fast forward 2,000 years, we're still doing it. We're still working in encaustic. But it's a technique-heavy kind of art, and not a whole lot of artists do it. So everything that you brought here in the studio was all made with melted beeswax? Melted, pigmented beeswax, that's right. That's amazing. And, and so is it about texture? I mean, if, 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 because it's not you know, putting paint on, it's, it's actually adding layers, right? It is. A lot of my work has 10, 15 layers of wax on them. Holy cow. So you pigment the wax if you want to, lay it on. And then where the, uh, the heavy part comes in, you have to go back and heat every layer. So I use a propane torch and literally go back and heat every layer so the next layer will lay onto it. So it's very labor intensive. Okay, so a, piece, a, a small piece like this, or maybe one of the larger ones next to us and behind us here, how long does something like this take you to put together? You know, it, it really varies. Okay. Um, I can do something like this in a couple of weekends, some of the larger ones. I've had a couple that I've worked on for months. Mm. Then some things like this I can knock out, you know, in four hours or so. So how long would it take you to do like a gorgeous self-portrait of Rod's face? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> many layers. Many, many layers. I didn't, many want, I didn't want to go there, but. Um, <laughs> Physically or emotionally? <laughs> that too. You said the whole thing's a train wreck. But, but you like Michigan landscape, right? I mean, that's, that's what I'm I, seeing here. I, I do. I, I love Michigan landscapes. Um, we are transplants. If you hear some Southern in my voice, I'm a Southern Virginia boy. But we've been in Michigan for 16 years, and I love the landscapes up here. It inspires a lot of my work. Well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So let's let's once again get everybody over to Belle Isle, and it's going to be near the fountain, right? That's today. right. Time to start. Ten o'clock. Ten to seven today. Eleven to five on Sunday. Gotcha. All right. Well, okay. You you can't miss it. Just go towards the aisle, yeah. cross the bridge, turn right, go to the fountain. That sounds. And, and watch out for the deer. But yes, no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, Fletcher. We appreciate your being here. We'll be right back.